Welcome back, everybody. Today, I want to share with you more about this wonderful sign that the Lord has given to us at this time. And what I want to share with you is about the constellations, some of the constellations that this sign touches. Because when God gives a message, he puts a lot of meaning in the message. And this sign encompasses some very specific and special constellations that are related directly with Jesus. We call this sign the sign of the Son of Man. And why do we do that? Because it depicts Jesus in such a wonderful way that you can see it very easily. At the top of the sign, where you see Comet, the path of Comet K2, that, as I have said before, forms the omega letter, the lowercase omega letter. And this is uh, the E3 path that forms the alpha uh, depiction of the letter alpha. When Where you see Comet's K2 path is touching the constellation of Orion. Now, Orion is a very special constellation that we can easily recognize in the night sky and is the brightest constellation, and this is a place in the heavens that God wants to draw the attention to many. And for many years, we have been studying this um, constellation and what God teaches through it, because when you consider biblical astronomy, you consider how the stars, the planets, or the constellations fulfill prophecy. Then we, there is a website called Last Countdown, that org and there is a powerpoint presentation called the orion message for god's people in that presentation we um, find a lot of information about how this constellation corresponds to a clock also in the heavens if you see the shape of the constellation you see how it resembles an hourglass and you see it over here. See the constellation as an hourglass, a clock. Then we have from this constellation, it emanates a river, Eridanus. And we call this the river of time. And you can read about this um, facts and this uh, interpretation and on the website whitecloudfarm.org there we have several articles that explain the symbolism but i just wanted to give you an overview and jesus is represented in orion and as the in the role of our um it shows his marks of his crucifixion and his hands we have the two stars at the top beetlejuice and bellatrix and at the bottom Saif and Rachel, they show uh, the wounds on his feet and on his hands. And even the side, we have the Orion Nebula that is towards the side of Jesus' body. And from this area emanates the Eridanus River, which it also represents the, uh, the flowing of his blood for our Trans, for uh, atoning for our transgressions. And so it shows the infinite sacrifice of Jesus. And at the bottom of the constellation of Eridanus, we see the constellation of the Horologium. And this is the constellation that shows Jesus coming as King of Kings and Lord of Lords. And there is a lot of symbolism in this constellation that is that, um, is equivalent to what is described in Revelation 19, where Jesus is shown as coming back as king. And then, like I said before, on the website, um, whitecloudfarm.org, we have a lot of articles. There is one called The Rod of Iron, The Comment of Time and the Meaning of Life. Those articles talk about specifically the Horologian constellation and what we started learning about it before we even recognize this wonderful sign. Now I want to show you something really spectacular. In the middle of the sign, you see a figure inside the river Eridanus. This is called Phaeton. And you can find that information on the internet. And 
there is a dove coming down towards this person in the middle of the river. And this dove is the representative of the Holy Spirit, as we know. And we have an image that shows this in a um, easier to identify way. And what do you see here? This is none other than a representation of the baptism of Jesus when he was baptized by immersion by John the Baptist and a dove descended upon him to acknowledge him as the one the the one that God sent. Behold, this is my beloved son in whom I will in whom I am well pleased. And this shows the scene of his baptism. So Everywhere in the sign, we see the, in the constellations, the symbolism of Jesus represented. And, you know, in the Bible, Jesus calls himself the son of man. Because Jesus, in, the, in, in John 1, 14, it says, And the word became flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. We invite you to come and to learn about all this truth that God is showing through the sign, because as you look up and you see every constellation that the sign touches and the times and, and the, the areas where the comets uh, touch, every, every single area has a meaning and it has a biblical meaning. This is like I mentioned before, we're talking about biblical astronomy here that relates directly to the Word of God. So, like I said before, um, please come and learn with us. All these articles talk about the sign that God, the Lord is showing us in relation to the clocks that He has in the heavens. Orion as the hourglass, the river of time or the blood, the, the flow of the blood of Jesus for our sins and the horologium constellation that announces Jesus as King of Kings and Lord of Lords.